In this lecture, we're going to take a look at creating native action sheets with our Ionic applications. So to get started, I've made a new Ionic project by saying Ionic start action sheet blank. I'm now going to add the Ionic Cordova plugin for Cordova plugin action sheet. You may find that the CLI plugin for Cordova is not installed. Simply install that and the installation will continue. We can now install the Ionic Native wrapper by saying npm install Ionic Native slash action sheet. You will need to add dash dash save if you are not running npm 5 and above. Now that we've installed our dependencies, we can of course open this up inside of VS Code. The first thing that we need to do is head over to appmodule.ts and we need to import action sheet. But instead of importing it from Ionic Angular, we need to import that from Ionic Native slash action sheet. Now we need to add this to the list of providers so that we can use this throughout our components. Do be aware that you're importing this from Ionic Native because Ionic itself does have an action sheet component. So don't get these two confused. Now that we've done that, I'm going to head over to home.ts as this is the playground for our action sheet component. Let's start off by making a new action sheet. And we can inject that from our Ionic Native slash action sheet. So, so far, everything's quite standard. It's the same as any other Ionic Native plugin. And we can start off by making a function. And that function can be called show action sheet. So if we just start off by taking a look at the API, we can see that we can choose some different themes for our Android device. When it comes to showing the action sheet, we can customize this with some action sheet options. So let's take a look at that. We have things like different button labels, a title, subtitle, themes, and more. So as we know, we'll be dealing with some action sheet options. Let's import that from Ionic Native slash action sheet. Let's make some options by saying const options of type action sheet options. And if we now hit control space, we can see the different options that we can select. So let's make a title. The title will be my action sheet. Let's make a subtitle now. And that subtitle will be select an option. Now we have the option to add some button labels. So if we take a look at some button labels, and we'll first off add a comment here saying the action sheet customization. We're saying if our action sheet pops up, what different buttons do we want to display to the user? So what's the labels for that buttons? And you'll notice that the only mandatory thing here, as everything else has this Elvis operator, is this button labels. So everything else could be emitted, it's all optional apart from the labels. So for our button labels, we will assume that potentially we're looking to share something on Facebook, on Twitter, on Reddit or something like that. So we'll create a sharing feature. So share on Facebook, share on Twitter, share on Reddit. So what else do we have? We have things like add a cancel button with the label of, and we can simply leave that to be cancel. We have things also like a destructive button. So a destructive button is usually used if you want to give the user an option to delete something, it will give it some different style and we'll see that if we simply say delete. We can set ourselves an Android theme. And if we take a look at the different Android themes, we have things like theme traditional, hollow dark, hollow light, and device dark and device light. Let's add a hollow dark for now. So it would be this dot action sheet dot Android themes 
and we can select either one. So let's select that dark theme. We also have the ability to set the destructive button to be the last button. Let's select that to be true. We can also do things like enabling a cancel button on Android or Windows Phone, as well as adding a position for an iPad. So this sets the X and Y position. So if we're relatively happy with these options, we can then say this dot action sheet dot hide or show. Let's start with show. And we'll pass through the options. And when a user selects the action sheet, so show action sheet with options. And when a user selects an action button, what happens is we get a button index based on what button the user selected. So this will be apparent in a second, but I'm going to make this function async. And we'll add a try catch surrounding this. We'll log out any errors. And we'll assign the variable for the selected button index by making a const selected button index equal to await this.actionsheet.show. And then of course, we're passing in these options. So essentially now any button that the user clicks will reside inside of this selected button index. So we can log out now to the console. The user selected and then we'll make a template string to show the selected button index. Inside of our home.html, let's have a quick change of the title for action sheet. Also add some color. And inside of the ion content, we will make a button. So button will simply say show action sheet with the ion button attribute, the block attribute, and the clear attribute. We'll finally add a click event, and that click event will be show action sheet. If we've done everything correctly, we now should be able to run this on the device. And when the user selects a button, we can log the selected button index to the console. So let's take a look at this in action. We can run Ionic Cordova run Android dash L. This can be, of course, any platform you want. It seems to be supported on Android, the web browser, iOS, Windows, and Windows Phone 8. So it's supported on a variety of platforms. And if we hit enter, we should then be able to see the results of this inside of our application. If we select show action sheet, you can see that we get the ability to share on Facebook, on Twitter, on Reddit, or delete. If I select something like share on Facebook, we can see inside of our JavaScript console that the user selected one. If I were to do the same and select two, such as share on Twitter, we do get the user selected two. So as you can see, we've now created an action sheet with Ionic Native that we can display inside of our applications. We can, of course, go ahead and change the theme. So if we selected theme hollow light instead, our application would be updated to instead show a light theme. We could also change this to be theme device default dark. And as you can see, if I select show action sheet again, we now get this dark theme based on the device's default theme. So play around with the different themes and of course to take action on any of these button indexes, it would be as simple as saying switch selected button index and then adding a case for one, two, and so on. So that's how we create an action sheet. Let's add a comment to say to take action use a switch statement. So that's how we integrate the action sheet inside of our Ionic applications.